riding the truck. So the trail actually starts out as a road. Um, the road's closed right now, so I gotta walk down the road to the trailhead. And then once I'm at the trailhead, I've got another maybe uh, three, four miles into where I'm gonna sleep for the night. First time being here, so I don't really know what to expect. Kind of show you my uh, my ultralight gear setup that I got with me. Um, yeah, turned out being a lot more stuff than I wanted to bring. Um, so, and I'm not too happy with the way that my pack ended up. It's a lot heavier than I wanted it to be. Uh, but uh, I got a lot of camera gear with me and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's, you got to deal with what with what I got. But it's probably, I don't know, around 25 pack, 25 pound pack, which is uh, pretty heavy for like a one or two nighter. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, um, but you know, I'll deal with it. All right, got to the trailhead. I'm just gonna stop here for a minute, take a breather, eat an orange. And I'll get moving again. And so it begins. Uh, I read that the first a mile or so is pretty steep you actually have to let, hike up to um, there's a bunch of lakes up here so that's where i'm hiking up to but um, the beginning of the hike is pretty steep up to the lakes so i imagine i'm one of the first people out on the trail this season because um, usually around this time there'd still be a lot of snow but we didn't get that much snow this year uh, good news is i haven't really seen any snow at all on the trail yet there's some out in the mountains out there but that's about it And here we have our first patch of snow. Which is all right. It's not a, you know, the only thing I was worried about was there being so much snow that is covering the actual path, the trail. Um, but it looks like we're in the clear. About an hour and a half into the trail, and uh, my back is already killing me. You know, it doesn't help uh, the way that I have things rigged up in my backpack. It's not ideal for the best weight distribution, but uh, I like to have it rigged the way I do, just it makes things easier for me to grab camera gear and stuff like that. Here's a little waterfall over here. So I'm just gonna check it out real quick. All right, back to the trail. Few more snow patches. I see some uh, some footsteps through here, so maybe I'm not the first person up through here this year. I had to turn around on the trail because I I just looked over my shoulder and caught a glimpse of some water. I almost walked right past this lake. Oh yeah. Let's take a take a breather here and drink some water. So I got another maybe two miles until the next lake and I think at the next lake that's where I will camp for the night. But I'm just hoping that there won't be too much snow up there. Cool little water crossing there. Thank God for these few people that came out here before I did. Because if these footprints weren't in the snow here, in a lot of these spots, I would have no idea where to go. Whew. First trek of the season, I'm a little a little out of shape, I guess. But there's been a few forks in the trail. Um, so I'm hoping I'm going the right way. But if I'm not, I'm sure it'll take me somewhere cool.
that little bit of snow I was talking about has turned into a lot of more snow. Makes things a little bit more difficult, but I'm so close to getting to my lake. Oh man, I just got some snow machine. Officially lost the trail. The footprints just stopped right there. So I'm guessing if I walk up this creek, if I can find the trail again, hoping so. Unless, I mean, this could be the trail too. All right, I think I see some more footprints. I think this is the trail. Sweet. Not bad. And this little island on the middle of the lake. I'm kind of just scanning around to see where a good camping spot would be. And a lot of the lake has snow just around the edge of it, so that's not ideal for camping. And honestly, right where I'm at right here, um, looks pretty nice. There's a cool little spot uh, right down there, which I could put, you know, I only have, I have a pretty small bivy tent, so. I don't need a whole lot of space. So I've been carrying my, my food in this little dry bag. Um, and I was thinking I'm, I was going to hang my food um, tonight just because there's, I'm sure there's bears out here. And uh, I don't have a bear canister with me. I'm kind of looking around. There's not too many ideal trees to hang on here. So I'll reconsider that later. Um, what I have is called Sawyer Mini, but you can get these on Amazon and stuff. And then basically this drops down into the water bottle. Um, this is why I bring a plastic water bottle like this, because then I can just screw the Sawyer Mini straight onto it. Um, and then pop off this cap and drink from there. And I got clean water. There's a chance of some showers tonight, so that's why I'm going to sleep in a tent and put a rain fly up probably. Otherwise, I might sleep under the stars. Um, so, I just got this little bivy tent right here. Um, super small, super easy to set up. I'm just gonna get it set up real quick and then maybe try some fishing. I got a new rig set up with uh, two really small flies. So, I don't know. Try it out. No fish for dinner, so I'm just gonna cook up some stuff that I brought with me because I was planning on having no fish for dinner. Going with some uh, chicken tortilla soup tonight. Gonna go hang my food. Found a uh, tree not too far that looks like it'll work out all right. Okay, so I'm gonna do a PCT hang. Got my rope, carabiner, dry bag with my food in it. So, once it's up there, you wanna run both lines through the carabiner. And so now, Pull it up close to the top. 
grab a little stick. Now I'm going to do a clove hitch. Uh, for those of you that don't know the PCT hang, the whole point of it um, compared to a classic hang is that if you pull on this, uh, the bag's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come down. Um, it can only go up from there. You have to pull on this until you get to that little stick and then remove the stick. And that's what will let it down. It looks like it's just coming down over there. It's pouring. You can feel a little bit of uh, sprinkles right now. So I'm going to get my little bivy uh, rain fly a little tightened up. I take that back, it's not raining. It's uh, snowing. Now this should be interesting. Of course, as soon as I get it all set up and crawl into here, get in my sleeping bag, the rain or snow or whatever stops. But I don't have a campfire or anything else, so there's not much else to do right now, except to go to sleep. This guy's been yelling for the last few minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a mountain lion not a fox. It's like uh, 6.30 in the morning right now. It's freezing out. But uh, check out this. I got some ice forming on my, on my tent. Um, pretty much after I crawled in last night, the snow stopped. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but it was definitely cold. Also, it was super cool to hear that uh, mountain lion last night. Just uh, reminds you that they're out here. Got the chills going down my spine though, for sure. Bivy tent to dry out. Just folding it up, kind of wrapping up shop here. Try to get out of here pretty soon. I, uh, I hiked over there because um, I was sort of planning on doing one or two nights, and there's another couple, another stretch of lakes down that way. But I hiked down there this morning, and there's like a good uh, like four or five foot snowpack right over that little hill. So, um, not, not over the mountain, but over this first little hill. And uh, so I, I would have to walk through all that stuff. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is head back that way towards my truck. All right, get my pack all set up, um, campsite cleaned out, and I'm gonna head out of here. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw, but I do carry a uh, Bear spray with me, but uh, luckily I've never had to use it. Um, but it's just something I carry with me when I'm backpacking. Uh, it just gives a little peace of mind. Just passed another guy who's been out here for the last three days um, fishing these three lakes, and he said he's been having a real tough time too. He's only got one fish. Yeah, I don't know what it is if it's. Maybe it's still cold for them or, or what, but um, you know, people I talked to said the fishing out here is pretty good during the summer, so maybe it is a little cold for them still, um, but it's kind of nice to hear that I'm not the only one struggling out here. I don't know uh, what these are. Maybe, um, maybe mountain lion, because you can see it looks like it's walking kind of the way a cat does close together who knows these look like they've been here for a while I'm a little bit off the beaten path right now um, I was trying to follow my tracks from yesterday but at some point I lost them obviously found it wasn't too far off
lake is the one that I passed through yesterday. Um, I didn't get a chance to fish it, so maybe I'll give it a shot now. I'll probably make lunch and maybe try, maybe try to catch a fish, but I mean, at this point, it's not looking very likely. Nothing new, no fish. It's funny, yesterday, this gate was closed and apparently it's been closed for the last like few years. You know, the next day they opened it back up. It would have been nice if it was open yesterday. It would have saved me at least a couple miles. But, oh well. Back to the truck.